for this series of videos I have downloaded a software from uh, Oracle Corporation called VirtualBox and with the help of this uh, software I'm running three virtual machines on my computer one is Linux this is mint flavor of Linux the second one is Windows XP which is powered off and the third one is Ubuntu which is also a flavor of Linux so I'll frequently be using Linux Mint and Ubuntu and sometimes CentOS OS now for this uh, video which is about a root user I have a terminal window open in front of me this is where you can enter commands both the operating systems uh, Ubuntu and Mint they both have graphic user interfaces as well as well as a terminal window where you can enter commands to learn so in Linux or Unix a root user is like an administrator in Windows as a root user you can access files that other users cannot and modify the behavior of your system in a way that other people cannot but you can also do serious damage if you are not very careful or are not familiar with the operating system unless unless you want to modify your system or plan to install a new software you should not log in as a root user in many flavors of Linux such as CentOS uh, Mint and Ubuntu the administrative root user account is disabled by default this does not mean that the root user account has been deleted or that uh, it cannot be accessed the users to perform administrative tasks are provided with a tool by the name of sudo 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 allows an authorized user to elevate their privileges on a temporary basis by using their own password instead of having to know the password of root administrative user this efficient policy is a way to provide accountability for all user actions so I'll show you how to access how to access the system as a root user the first thing you need to do is to type in sudo and PAWSWT and in this case it is asking for a new Unix password in frequent situations it will ask for your own password first and then for a new password so I'll type in a new password okay password updated successfully that is not all it means it only means that I can access the system uh, successfully if you want to lock it again you simply have to say sudo pawswd-l and root and password has been changed again if I say pwd and I want to go to root cd space and cd space two dots once again ls and you can see a root directory root folder I say root and permission denied so what I'll, what I'll have to do I'll have to again unlock the account sudo PAWSWD and okay so if I so if I say ls once again and I say su root it will ask for the password okay so I can access the system as a root user now thank you very much